Good morning or evening ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how you could start out your personal finances in Excel. In the data shown in the worksheet, you can see the amount of money you spend on certain expenses. the amount you deposited. First of all, to make the layout of your personal finances sheet look more nicer and easier to read, we have to change the theme. So go to page layout, click on the themes tab, and click on any theme you want. For this exercise, I'm going to click on track. Now I'm going to show you how gradually your money gets reduced each day due to your expenses. For this, you need a formula to subtract the amount of expenses from the money you already have. First, you add an equal sign, as an equal sign is very important in the formula, as without it, the formula would never be calculated. And then using sub-references, which is clicking on the cell, you click on cell E3. After you selected E3, you already know that the number $400 is already put into your formula. Now you subtract it using cell reference to cell C4, which is the amount or expenses you, you had on February 5th. Click enter to see your answer. Now you have added $200. So using a formula, add the number you deposited plus the money you had remaining. You could do this by using a formula and using cell reference. First click equal, click cell E4, which is the amount you have right now, and add it to the amount you're going to add, which is $200 in cell D5. Click the cell using cell references and click enter. And now you have the money added with the money you have newly deposited. Now you subtract the money again with uh, with $34.60. So you do the same thing as I did in the first formula. First click the money you have, which is in cell E5. Subtract it with the money you spent, which is in cell C6. Click enter. To make life easier for you, Excel has made a, new, a way that makes you copy the formula in the cell beneath it. So you don't have to do the formula all over again. So you click on the cell, go to the corner where you could see a plus sign and pull it down. Now your formula has gone down and it has subtracted the number from the money you had previously and the number you had spent. So it subtracted it. Click enter and now you get the money you have remaining. And now you get your answer. You have now added money again. So watch carefully as I show you how to add money with the previous money again. Equal sign, click cell E7, add it, the money deposited, and click enter. Now you have to subtract it again, but since you guys know the easy way, let's just do the formula once and drag down the formulas to the bottom equations. Watch carefully. You put the equal sign, enter the previous number you have, which is E9, subtract it with your expenses, click enter. And now you drag the formulas below. Since you deposited money again, you add the number by your previous saving again. Click cell E12, add it with the number deposited, which is in cell D13, enter, and now you've got your total money. Now you're deciding that you want to find out how much money to spend on expenses, how much money you have, and how much money you deposited. To do this, you add them up, all the numbers. So now let's do the formula to add up all the payments. Look at the amount of cell references you need to click in order to add them all up. So Excel created another easy method which allows you to add easier. First you put the equal sign which you have done. 
And instead of clicking all the sub references, in all caps write down SUM. Open a bracket and select all your expenses. Is. Close it, click enter, and Excel automatically adds up your payments or your SUM. Now drag the formula over to the next two cells.